Hi friends and comic book fans, I'm Kate. Welcome back to Came From A Vlog. Today we're going to Tate's Comics with my sister, my brother-in-law, my brother, my nephew, and all my crew. So let's go. So Tate's is in this very 70s plaza. It's like a time capsule. <laughs> they also have a great record store here called We Got The Beats. And then Tate's has a gaming satellite where lots of people game. They sell a bunch of gaming stuff, board game stuff, D&D stuff, and then the actual Tate's store. The kids have been loving playing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game on the Switch lately. I do like these yummy, yummy scented glitter gel Oh pens. yes, you can't go wrong with glitter pens. Don't kill the kids and other babysitting basics. <laughs> Don't kill the kids as as basic as it gets. Um, I heard Unicornio. Remember those? Mm-hmm. This is the section for blind boxes and mini collector toys. Here's the section for manga, and of course in the back, there are loads of comic books and graphic novels, which you'll see soon. This is the Power Rangers area, but as you probably already guessed, they have every kind of fandom you can imagine. This is where you'll find a bunch of movie franchise merch, Ghostbusters, Alien, Terminator, Look at these half-naked men, famous for touching one another. And these cases are the retro toys. Besides being super fun to look at, they might give you that dose of nostalgia you've been looking for. 1985, 1986, that's not that vintage. 1991, that's definitely what those say. Oh my gosh, look at the little raisin guy from those commercials. Sergio and Holden have been playing through the first Kingdom Hearts on the Xbox, so we thought that these toys were pretty cool. This is all the young readers, comic books, graphic novels. This is my personal favorite part of the store because I love the beautiful art and I'm a total sucker for books for the kids. Isn't this the other one you watch, Over the Garden Wall? They have everything here from $1 comics to brand new graphic novel series from a lot of the shows the kids watch. Oh, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at that. That's awesome. Alternative comics. You want that one about menopause? We're now getting to the comic book part of the store, which is the entire back half. It's a huge area and they have everything. I have to say that while the prices here don't really compete with Amazon, they're just a tiny smidge higher, there are some things here that you might not be able to find online like out of print editions or compendiums. A lot of these shelves that you're looking at are all Marvel. I don't know much about comics, but I can say this is a whole lot of books. It's definitely the most comics that I've seen in a store. You could probably live here for 100 years and not even scratch the surface. So cool. I was staring at these for longer than I care to admit. These are so neat, really. I don't know that I've ever seen 3D covers like this on book comic books before, but actually 3D is the wrong term for it, which I learned on the little sign there. It said lenticular covers, which is a new term to me, but now you and I both know it so we can get real fancy. We're gonna be out there calling everything lenticular. It's gonna be real weird. Can you tell me what we're looking at? Because I have no idea. Books, literature. Fine literature. <laughs> the 
is a generous amount of $1 comics and even blind bags to choose from. Now we're moving into the Star Wars area. They have some vintage toys from the 80s that are pretty cool to look at and of course lots of brand new things as well. Here's the area for superhero toys and books, DC and Marvel. I love all the nerdy little details at Tate's, like this you shall not pass sign over here. A lot of these little details are up above eye level. There's a lot of movie paraphernalia and decorations up on the top of the store. Speaking of up, we just went upstairs into the little loft area, which is an art gallery and gift boutique. What I really love about Tate's is how there's something here for everyone. Whether you're into DC, Marvel, comics, cats, tacos, pizza, art, you can find something unique here. It's a really good place to buy a gift. So while I was making this video, I got curious about the origin story of Tate's. So I looked it up on their website and I thought this was really interesting. The owner was only 17 years old when him and his father bought their first store. This is not the original location. They moved to this one later on, but it started in 1993 and it was only open from 3 to 8 p.m. after he was finished going to high school. At this point, the store is over six thousand square feet which is bonkers bigfoot salad tongs those are funny i love it roach clips <laughs> just terrifying gross oh that's oh, a cute. colander spoon nessie well they have a little ladle tea infuser it's a little flower <laughs> oh, yes these are awesome now we're in tate's gaming satellite in non-COVID times, there was always lots of people here playing games, but now it's mostly empty and kind of depressing. I miss walking around and creeping on people, asking them what they're playing because I live under a rock. So obviously they sell lots of board games, models, and paint to do your own. Dungeons and Dragons stuff, magic cards, Pokemon cards, and probably a lot of things that I forgot to mention. We went to grab some lunch across the street at a Korean barbecue place called Gabos. There was a limit to how many people could sit at the barbecue table, and we also thought it might be a little bit iffy with the baby, so we had to split up our party. We got stuck at the regular table while everybody else is at the uh, barbecue table. Jokes on them. Jokes on you. The regular table is the cool table, and the barbecue table is stupid. Despite my obvious bitterness, I did pop over to the barbecue table to say hello and get some footage. The restaurant ended up being okay, but I do prefer this Japanese style barbecue place in Miami that Sergio and I have been to a few times much more. We're back home now and I have to say, if you ever find yourself in the Lauder Hill area, you have to stop by Tate's Comics. It is an institution. Isn't it so cool? We had a great day out and about. If you have any favorite places in the Broward or Miami-Dade areas, drop them in the comments below because I would love to go check them out. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you'll stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you being here. See you next time. Bye-bye.